So this video is going to be a introduction to a uh, DIY series that I'm going to do for uh, building a mini quadcopter. Now in front of me this is actually the Blade MQX quad and this Blade MQX is uh, really the quadcopter that got me into this hobby. So it's a ready to fly version um, that I've flown many times, crashed and now as of uh, recently the uh, main board has shorted out. So I thought instead of going and you know this is actually the second board that I purchased it was 60 bucks so uh, quite a bit of money to um, you know get this thing in the air. So you can see some 3D printed arms that I've done and you know it's been a fun quad to fly but I figured hey it's time to kind of move on to a um, almost a scratch build where if I break anything and I'd be able to easily fix it either by uh, 3D printing a part or uh, purchasing a part that's readily available and affordable. So in front of me I have pretty much all the parts needed to uh, do this build. Now I am missing a power distribution board which I'll order this week but uh, four Turnigy 10 amp plush ESC's and then a, these little uh, iPower 2300 kV motors and then an 800 milliamp battery. This is just a guy that I had laying around so it's a 2S LiPo and then the multi Wii flight controller. It's actually an extra flight controller that I had laying around after helping a friend upgrade from this board to the KK2. So I'm actually not sure you know I've done a lot of looking around this is the X-Rock version of the board so we're going to give it a try and if it doesn't work we'll uh, upgrade to something else. And last but not least the frame which will consist of this dowel rod from Home Depot. It's a 5 16th inch diameter pine uh, rod and I've designed some 3D printed motor mounts that this dowel will just slide right into. Slide it in. Probably just CA glue it to hold it and then we'll put our motors right here uh, mounted to the top. And next I'm actually going to be designing uh, the main plates to uh, bring the booms together as well as uh, to be able to mount our flight controller and electronics. And when this build is all said and done I'll actually uh, post links to all of the uh, components as well as make the design files for the motor mounts and plates and anything else that needs to be 3, 3D printed readily available. Those will be on Garage Pilots and I'm hoping, you know, like I said, we want to keep this open, open source, the design files available for you to download and print or tweak. And I wanted to just talk you through real quick what I did to actually get to the uh, final motor mounts, these, these four guys right here. So it started with just a, you know, a square design with a cutout to basically test that hey can I get you know this dowel rod through there and if you look this is actually eight millimeters in diameter which I did on this uh, hole but uh, you actually have to allow for some shrinkage uh, when you print with the PLA plastic so this actually came out to 8.4 millimeters uh, in diameter on the design and then shrunk a little bit and you can see this thing fits nicely over the dowel. Okay and so once I got that in place I went ahead and created a just a, a mounting plate you know with our holes properly spaced to mount our motors on and one thing you'll notice <laughs> that I I learned is that while I had everything in place you can't get this uh, motor flush because of the uh, leads coming off of it. So uh, what I did was I actually moved on to a design like this that has your mounting holes in the right place and this plate allows you to now get your leads through and mount your motor properly. So I normally just do some basic designs that don't take a lot of uh, plastic when I print just to verify that the dimensions are correct and then that's when you know I can actually extrude in this case two millimeters thick and then you know have our uh, mounting hole there so 
Now we can get our leads through, get our motor in place, and then we have our dowel rod that'll just fit nicely in there. So let me just cut to a quick segment that shows you uh, a time lapse of this being printed. So it took about a dozen iterations to get to this, but you know that's one of the beauties of having a 3D printer is trial and error and prototyping. And so next up, you know, some things that I need to consider in this build is just what do I want the length of the booms to be, as well as you know just determining what kind of thrust uh, we have with these 2300 kV high power motors. And these are actually Jim Fan 5030s, so 5 inch by 3 pitch. And I've read that they have about 175 grams of thrust. Uh, as part of this build, I'll actually uh, demonstrate how, to, how I'm going to measure that. But, you know, with four of these guys, we're looking at anywhere between 600 to 800 grams of thrust. And so what I'll do now is I'll actually... Uh, put all these components in a bag and just see see what the weight is looking like. Okay, so I have all the mini quad goodies in a bag and let's go ahead and give it a put it on the scale. Here we have our bag in place. About 0.15 kilograms. So 0.15 kilograms puts us at about 150 grams. That now keep in mind that doesn't include our, our mounting plates, but I think we should be looking pretty good. So I'll keep you guys updated on the progress and you know my my ultimate goal, my thought initially is once I get this mini built and, and flying with the multi we I'd love to put the uh, Ardu Pilot board with Ardu Copter firmware on there and see if I can actually build a mini uh, with GPS waypoint navigation and just all the features of the APM. So stay tuned, and if you have any suggestions or recommendations or ideas, please, please share them in the comments below. Like I said, this is going to be trial and error, but what I want to do is I really want to get this thing uh, flying nicely and have kind of a beater quad uh, that I can just fly around, you know, indoors and out, and just make everything easily accessible, uh, 3D printable, and uh, have fun with it. So in the meantime, I'll be working on the uh, plates for mounting the electronics and we'll post those once I have them ready. Thanks for watching.